Okay, so you're hanging pre-made fence panels and you are thrown into a situation or let's just say you put your posts in the wrong place so that they're not eight feet on center which is what you want because the fence panels themselves are eight feet they're built on an eight foot two by four unfortunately these particular panels that uh, I'm dealing with here they come with the exposed portion to put on the posts but they were flush on this side now I'm not sure why they would be made that way actually the pickets are out here so flush against the end I could see if there was tongue and groove if one was back up in here if the 2x4 ended up in here and the other part stuck out you could put them together tongue and groove but that's not the way they were they're right to the end so just to use these pre-made fence panels we had to pry the pickets off the end which shreds at least one or two of them because they're nailed in with little wire squiggly nails so that was a pain in the butt but say for instance here you are this is what you're facing you got 100 and uh, whatever 103 and a half inches on center so what I did here was simply take the uh, pre-made panel went ahead and uh, of course level it to the left side whatever you're working or you start on that side level but this is if you're continuing on continuing on so I leveled these two went ahead and screwed that one over here and then in order to uh, make this work I ran a long 2x4 basically from the end over there so this panel would now sit on top of it over here so here's the end of my pre-made panel Jeez, I'm used to this phone thing and here's the new 2x4 I made uh, to go on underneath all three of them leveled it off and then on the ends here because these don't come to the end I cut a little piece to go in here to butt that up against that and in my case I got four inches so I added another four inches and put an eight inch piece to splice them together four screws in the back of each side over here three screws back out here I now have this panel attached over here but I'm not depending on uh, this splice to hold all the load I've got another tube by holding it so these panels are going to be nice and strong and then I'm going to have to go in and put shorter screws every other panel probably every other short panel to hold this panel to the new 2 by 4s anyway that's how you can stretch them out um, to shorten them you got to basically just pry the pickets off if you if your posts are not 96 inches or 8 feet on center you pry the pickets off cut the 2 by 4s to where they are in the center and then eventually you go back in and fill in with your pickets Put another one over here, two inches apart if you can, and another one in the middle. However, to make it pretty, you want to match up whatever, and then you just cover up what you've got, as we've done here, as will be done here. As you can see, these are uh, yeah, not particularly great. Also had to shim them for them back, went back. But anyway, so along in here, somewhere in here, you can tell because there's screws, these pickets were added to cover up the gaps. So anyway, just a quick little advice on how you can uh, stretch these all right just for fun here's what the splice looks like ready to be installed i put it together oh, i just screwed that one a little bit I like them flush anyway um i always pre-drill my holes okay well you might be able to tell it's been a while since i, I did that but i'm going to show finished version I guess I never did a video on it so you can see the ones that have the screws in it are the ones that filled the gaps down here these two these two it's actually these three that one now and all these things that have the screws in the bottom that's where the other two by four was so I had to do that in numerous places the problem was that the uh, 4x4 posts, I'm embarrassed to even show that, 
I didn't do it. The 4x4 posts were put in just basically in random widths instead of being 96 inches on the center. Some of them were, you know, in the hundreds. Some of them were shorter, so I either had to shorten the panels. In most cases, I had to stretch them out and do something to uh, make sure that they were able to be hung and were somewhat straight. So, strained it out, stretched out the panels, and it's probably been a year or who knows, maybe longer than that since this was all done. Anyway, that's what the whole thing looks like when it's com completed. Some more down here. But that's how I did it. Um, that way it uh, gives you support for the whole fence. And just fill it in as you need to.